Metacritic reviews, they are going to be the nun. This movie was really scary and actually terrified the crap out of me for the time being there. We'll get to that later. Uh, this movie is really good and I think that it's a good addition to the Conjuring universe. Even though I've only seen parts of Annabelle in this one. That's how scary the Conjuring movies are. Um, I, mean, I may watch The Crooked Man because I think that that's the next one we're going to do. Because uh, he was in The Conjuring too. I didn't actually watch it. Yeah, that's how freaking scared I am. I just need a little recap while I was watching because the, the Conjuring is in. So I didn't want to be confused, you know. Um, but mostly, this... The plot is that uh, a, a nun in training and a priest go to this monastery in Romania to you check if this place is still holy. And, spoiler alert, it's not. And the nun, the presence is there. And this is before in The Conjuring 2 when, spoiler alert, they defeat the nun. And, um, yeah, she's still being spooky from now. So, that's what we got. But I figured this out from other reviews from people that she's actually related to uh the other real Lorraine Warren but the one who plays it in the Conjuring movies and then maybe the reason why she's getting all these visions and stuff because maybe if they're related in real life maybe then that's gonna tie in in the movie because they kind of look alike when you think about it when you look at it you know uh so that was just a theory I had but but you know, I haven't seen any of them. I think the first one's on Netflix. I'm going to try to watch that. Or it is jump scares. Now, see, I don't watch many horror movies. But when I do, I get scared of the jump scares. Because they're not really a cliche on me yet. Because I haven't seen many horror movies. So when everybody's like, oh, a jump scare in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well, I will do that with some bad movies. Like uh, Truth or Dare. This one, it scares me. Because, I don't know, I'm not really used to it. And it's terrifying to me. I mean, uh... You know, a lot of things in this movie mainly relies on jump scares, but for, for the time being, this is like the 10th horror movie I've ever watched, so it's not that big of an impact on me. I also really enjoyed uh, the monastery in the movie and where they, uh, I think the setting was really cool. That's like the nun's makeup in the movie. I don't know if that's really CGI, that's a real person in like some kind of suit, but it looks really cool. So, um... Overall, this movie was really fun to watch. I had fun. Uh, it got me scared. I had there's laughs. It's probably I couldn't really say cry, but it's probably laughs. Probably get scared. I don't know. I think it's really it's just, it's gonna be one of my favorite horror movies. I haven't seen many of them, so it's not saying much. But I really like it. Warren Hardy also did an amazing job directing this movie. Uh, I really like everything in it and just how well it's done. The same with Tasia Farmiga. She really did a good job in this movie. And I uh, hope to see her in more of the Conjuring movies. Maybe it's a flashback or something. Because uh, her performance is really good. And I believed her as the the as who she was supposed to be. Uh, she did a good job. And I don't know. She made everything seem more believable in the movie. Same to the whoever played the guy who played the priest in this movie. Because he did a good job. And his name is just too hard to pronounce. Now for how this ties into the other Conjuring movies. See, there's a character in, through the movie named Frenchie, a real name was Maurice. And through the movie, you figure out when the final showdown with the nun, it looks like the nun takes him and chokes him out. And, you know, you maybe, oh, he's dead. He's not, you know, they all go home safe. At the end of the movie, there's this upside down cross on his neck. So that's a little scary. But then, like, the next scene, you see the Warrens 20 years later demonstrating this like you know demonic possessing in front of like like a students in in the class and they're showing the clips of Maurice actually becoming you know evil and like possessed and you know twitching and stuff so that's probably how they're going to tie this into a nun too because it does say 20 years later in I think it means 20 years as in the end of the movie my review thanks for watching guys make sure to like comment and subscribe uh I'm curious more without that out.